Training Module, Syringe Loading and Setup. Before use, please refer to the Novum IQ Syringe Infusion System Operator's Manual to review all cautions and warnings. Please note the following warnings and cautions before proceeding. Bolus flow while loading. Load the disposables into the Novum IQ syringe pump before connecting it to the patient. Follow neonatal and pediatric procedures. Configure the pump with appropriate flow rate, volume to be infused, patient weight, and occlusion alarm limits. Prior to connecting to a patient, prime the set following the standard priming instructions included with the administration set. Never use the pump to prime when connected to a patient, as this may cause bolus or overinfusion. Always turn off fluid flow to the patient using a tubing clamp or a stopcock when loading or unloading a syringe to prevent unintended bolus. Syringe use. Only use syringes that are approved for use with the Novum IQ syringe pump and confirm brand and size upon loading. Using incompatible syringes can result in reduced performance and patient harm up to and including serious injury or death. Refer to service.baxter.com slash documents or contact Baxter Technical Support for the compatible syringes list. Use of incompatible syringes can cause improper pump operation, resulting in inaccurate fluid delivery, insufficient occlusion or blockage sensing, and other potential problems. Use the smallest compatible syringe size necessary to deliver the fluid or medication. This is especially important when infusing high-risk or life-sustaining medications at low infusion rates, for example, less than 5 milliliters per hour, and especially flow rates less than 0.5 milliliters per hour. Using a larger syringe when infusing at low rates can lead to inadequate syringe pump performance, including delivery inaccuracies, delay of therapy, and delayed generation of occlusion alarms. This is due to the increased friction and compliance of the syringe plunger tip with larger syringes. Height and location of the syringe pump system. Ideally, the syringe pump should be level with the distal tip of the catheter. For example, the site of fluid delivery. If accessing a central line, the syringe pump should be at the level of the patient's heart. If the pump height is raised relative to the distal tip of the catheter, for example, during patient transport, the increase in height of the syringe pump can result in a temporary increase in fluid delivery or bolus until the flow rate stabilizes. Alternatively, if the pump is lowered relative to the distal tip of the catheter, the decrease in height of the syringe pump may result in a decrease in delivery or underinfusion until the flow rate stabilizes. Minimize the height difference between the pump and the patient and avoid changes in the height of the pump to prevent unintended fluctuations in the flow rate. To load a syringe, press on-off to power on the pump. The new patient screen may appear. The pump retains previously programmed infusion values up to 24 hours after power off. At this screen, you have the following options. Press the No Soft key to retain the previously programmed infusion values for the same patient. Press the Yes Soft key and the Select Care Area screen appears. Next, select the Care Area using the Arrow Soft key to select the Care Area. In this example, select NICU and press OK. Before loading a syringe, please locate the following parts of the pump. Driver Head Driver Head Lever syringe plunger grips, flange retainer, barrel clamp, tubing strain relief. Note, when loading a syringe, you can begin loading a syringe anytime before a drug is selected. To begin loading the syringe, open the driver head by pressing the lever and pulling the driver head to the right. Pull down the barrel clamp. Insert the syringe flange between the pump and the flange retainer. A green check mark and an audible tone indicate the flange was correctly mounted in the flange retainer. Note, for proper syringe loading, the flange must be placed horizontally into the flange retainer with the syringe barrel against the midline groove on the back wall of the syringe cradle 
This is important so that the plunger head aligns correctly with the plunger sensor and plunger levers. If the syringe is not loaded at the midline, the pump will detect the wrong syringe size. After the flange is inserted into the flange retainer, the install syringe screen will tell you to close the barrel clamp or move the driver head to the syringe plunger. Press the lever and push the driver head until the sensor in the driver head touches the syringe plunger. Gently close the barrel clamp. A green check mark and an audible tone indicate the operation was completed correctly. Note, if you load the syringe quickly, you may not hear all of the audible tones. Keep your fingers, hands, and other objects clear of the driver head to avoid them getting pinched when pushing the driver head to the syringe plunger. Warnings. Loading the disposables. Do not use excessive force when sliding the driver head to the syringe plunger. Using excessive force can result in serious injury or death. The syringe installed message appears when the syringe is installed correctly. Place the set in the tubing strain relief hook. Once the syringe is loaded, the Select Syringe Type screen appears when there is more than one manufacturer for the detected size for the care area selected. Note, if you select All Syringes, a list of syringes available outside of the care area will appear. If the loaded syringe does not match the syringes which have been configured in the DOS IQ safety software, the Syringe is not supported screen will appear and a configured syringe should be loaded. Press the All Syringes soft key to select from a list of available syringes outside of your care area. If there is more than one manufacturer, use the arrow soft keys to select the syringe type. Press OK. If the Novum IQ syringe pump cannot detect the syringe size, a Select Syringe Size screen appears. Use the arrow soft keys to select the size of the syringe. Press OK. Press the All Syringes soft key to select from a list of available syringes outside of your care area. The Confirm screen displays. Use the arrow soft keys to press Yes to confirm. Preparing the pump. Line Prime. The Line Prime feature on the Novum IQ syringe pump is used to prime the pump to reduce startup time. Even if the line is manually primed, once the syringe is loaded onto the pump, the Line Prime features will tighten up the gears and engage the system. Warning! Priming the Novum IQ Syringe Pump When using the Novum IQ Syringe Pump's priming feature, to prime the syringe pump system before starting an infusion or after replacing an empty syringe with a replacement syringe, verify the fluid flow to the patient is disconnected and use the prime feature on the syringe pump to remove any mechanical slack in the system. Using the syringe pump's prime feature engages the mechanical components of the pump and decreases the syringe's friction and compliance, that is, stiffness, to minimize startup delays and delivery inaccuracies, especially at low infusion rates. After you have correctly installed the proper syringe, the pump may be used to prime the line. Note, if you want to prime the syringe manually, you should still use the Line Prime feature on the syringe pump to prime the pump to reduce startup time. Caution: Always prime the Novum IQ syringe pump before connecting to the patient. Confirm that the patient is not connected to the pump. The Line Prime confirmation screen appears. At this screen, you have the following options. Press the No soft key, you will move to the Drug Search screen. Press the Yes soft key to confirm you want to use the pump to prime the line. Press the Confirm soft key at the Line Prime confirmation screen after ensuring the patient is not connected to the pump. Press and hold the Prime soft key to prime the line. Note. The priming rate is 200 milliliters per hour or the maximum rate for the installed syringe, whichever is lower. The priming volume will increment on the screen. Continue pressing the Prime Soft key to maintain priming. Release the Prime Soft key to stop the priming when priming is complete, as indicated by a drop of fluid at the end of the set. Press the Complete key to exit the priming sequence. Note. The priming volume will be deleted from the VTBI, but not added to the total volume infused. 
the prime sequence can be repeated up to five times for a maximum of 10 seconds per attempt. Confirm the correct route of the patient access site. Note, when using multiple pumps, make sure that the lines are correctly traced from the container to the pump and from the pump to the patient. Follow your facility's procedure for labeling tubing. Connect the set to the patient access site. Failure to use the prime feature on the syringe pump after every syringe change can significantly delay the infusion delivery startup time and lead to delivery inaccuracies. Unloading a syringe. To unload a syringe, press Run Stop to stop the infusion when the pump is running. Clear the program if the infusion is complete. Press Yes to confirm. Note, always turn off fluid flow to the patient using a tubing clamp or a stopcock when loading or unloading a syringe to prevent unintended bolus. Open the driver head by pressing the lever and pulling the driver head to the right. Pull down the barrel clamp. Remove the syringe from the flange retainer. Thank you.